Welcome to Real Estate with Scotty. Hey Dad, you kept telling me that you don't have the June numbers. Now that you have the June numbers, why don't you talk about them? Yes, Scotty. It seems like you're becoming very interested in real estate more than me. I'm just going to explain this to you in this graph with reviewing every single month from June 2021 to June 2022. Wow, that sounds interesting. We started in June 2021 a year ago with 1.02, very strong seller market. Went all the way down to 0.54, half a month of inventory in December 2021. That's the lowest we have had in the last 12 months. And the month of inventory increased to 2.49 for June of this year. Now, do you remember what I told you about the months of inventory and what is the seller market and what is the buyer market? Of course I do. Between three and four months of inventory is the balanced market. Anything less than three months is the seller market and anything more than four months is the buyer's market. Isn't that right? Good boy, Scotty. Looks like you learned your lessons. Let's go to the next item, which is the average price. In June 2021, the average price was 1089000 We had the price increase from June all the way to February of this year. And we went to 1033000 It's a 22% increase in 8 months, which is crazy and could not be sustainable. Interest rates started to increase, prices started to soften, and we gradually went to 1.1446, which is 5% more than last year. Now, buyers might ask themselves should we wait i would say if you need to buy no you shouldn't because there's so much opportunities in this market but unless you are on the road with your agent going seeing homes putting offers on them you never find the opportunities in this transitional market sellers if you need to sell the prices for february 2022 are gone and they're not going to come back soon so if you need to sell now you need to be realistic and you need to know you're still ahead of your game if you were in the market last year so you're still five percent more than that any questions feel free to give me a call or dm me and you scotty my boy go have some fun have your carrot and keep engaged in real estate conversations <laughs> That was really good, Dad. Very informative. Can I have more questions in future? Of course, my son. Anytime you have any questions, I would be happy to answer. Even if I, what I told you here you didn't understand, please DM me. Give me a call. Let me know. I'm happy to answer. Okay? Until next time, we'll see you in the next episode.